Hello everybody, so it's been like two months since I've produced a vlog or any type of video of me candidly being myself, you know, and these past two months a lot has happened. Where do I start? Uh, I guess that there's a lot of things in my life where a lot of things happened and uh, I've been working on a lot of different types of projects, right? I, I don't know if I am straying away from whatever I want to produce or what I actually want, because to be honest, I don't exactly know what I want. And, and it's weird how that works out, but at the same time, I feel very satisfied with a lot of things that I'm doing currently, even though I do not have a lot of direction with my life right now and with my, I don't, I, I wouldn't say, I guess it's life, but in, in terms of just business-wise and in terms of just a lot of things that I do personally, I feel like I'm, I'm like ADHD, you know, like I, I'm jumping into too many different projects and too many different things all at once. I need to refocus and I needed to essentially rebrand myself or I don't, I'm not even sure if that's the right word. I just essentially needed to branch myself out to a little bit different audience. That's one of the reasons why I did decide to take down a lot of my videos. Obviously, there's a lot more reasons to that, but at the end of the day, I decided to personally do that. No one forced me to do so, and... Yeah, that's, that's it. With that being said, I mentioned that I was working on a couple of projects. And so if you guys have not seen my YouTube channel trailer, then what the heck are you doing, dude? Like, seriously, bro, I spent so much time on it. Freaking just watch it, dude. It'll be like right here or right here. I still get confused on which side has the little bloop things over there. But anyways, watch that all the way through the end. It's... It has a lot of sick angles, dude. In that YouTube channel trailer, I had a snippet of me hanging out with Nava the Beast. And most of you guys probably know him because my previous audience on this YouTube channel probably is subscribed to him or at least know of him uh, just through that community, right? For all those who have been following me for the past year or so, I have mentioned that I've been working with another person and... An, another person, a big YouTuber that's has a relatively big audience. I think right now he has about 500, over 500,000 subscribers and overall his audience in Instagram and YouTube combined is a lot bigger than mine. So I have been working with him on his uh, online coaching. And as many of you guys who do follow me on Instagram, hey, right there, ba-bam, or link in the bio, link in the bio, no, that's Instagram, link in the description, you can find my Instagram. I've been working for him and with him, I guess, on his personal online training, and it's been going pretty well. About four, four to five months ago, he started this online boot camp kind of thing, and I helped him out with a ton of stuff, and right now, I'm taking majority of the operations of that online business that he has. So with that being said, if you wanna check that out, if you wanna get freaking fit and you think that you are ready to freaking put in the work, get your fitness goals together. And if you're, are, whatever your goals are, right? Even though you could read the description of that a BRT is what it's called, the Beast Recruit Training, and you think that you're ready to freaking put in the work and learn, then this is the right thing for you because I've we have put in a lot of work with this, right? And and we have been cycling through different ideas and testing out different things. And I think a lot of the work is showing up to be pretty good. It's just finding the right people who actually have the discipline to follow through with every single week is pretty hard because it I'm 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 not gonna lie, it's pretty tough for a 12 week program. There's so many things to do and you have to just be consistent with it. But essentially, I've been working with him and it's been going pretty well. So if you wanna check that out, you have my word that it is 
freaking dope dude and also his word because I mean why would we sell something that's a piece of shit and and to be honest it's not a piece of shit we put in a lot of work for it enough talking about that that's just one of the projects I've been working with him I've met up with him when I visited Austin about a month ago you've probably seen some of the snippets the snap snappets snippets of Austin in my YouTube channel trailer that's when I visited down in Texas and then he drove up from San Antonio to meet up with me and then we're all partied and stuff so that was pretty fun what else have I been doing oh one thing that I've been working on is, let me grab it out of my closet, dude. Boom! So I have my own t-shirt brand now, and it's called Strive Further. You can't really see it because it's like gray on white. Here it is, bam. You've probably seen this at on the YouTube trailer as well. It's pretty dope. I've uh, tested a lot of the samples out. So the material in itself, it's pretty dope. I'm not wearing this right now, mainly because I'm in not my PJs, but I haven't gotten out the house for the past two days because I've been sick. The company that I've created essentially have long sleeve shirts and short sleeve shirts, of course. And one more thing, I just need to grab it out of my closet. We have freaking pom-pom beanies, man. Look at them. See, you have Strive Further right there. Woo! Embroidered. But bam, high quality material, man. So if you want to check this out, I've been working on this for the past couple of months. I think more than three months, actually, behind the scenes. If you want to check it out, first link in the description. So you could uh, buy, cop yourself some freaking merch. You, If you want to support me, man, got this. And you could read the mission behind um, Strive Further and what it represents because I think this is something that I hold dearly in constant improvement, uh, constant improvement daily, constant improvement, should I say? Yeah, I, I'm blabbering right now, but this is dope. I've worn this a couple times and it's pretty warm. And, uh, I think if this goes off pretty, if this company basically goes a little bit more popular and I'm actually generating a lot more revenue than I am right now. I would continue expanding the brand, but essentially this is just for fun right now. I'm just testing a lot of things as you can see. I mean, we're I'm running an online coaching business now and on top of that, I have my own brand, a clothing brand, so I, I'm doing a lot of things. I've been working the past two, three months on reselling. And if you guys don't know what that means, it's usually buying something on retail or buying something on a discounted price or whatever it is online or at a thrift shop or whatever it is. I think it's called thrifting as well, but it's just another way to get an income stream, right? It's basically buying something at a certain price and then selling it higher. So a, a, a lot of sneaker heads, I'm like clicking on the screen right now because it's not freaking focusing, but... A lot of sneakerheads do this because they would buy like Yeezys, for example, when they first launched. Um, Kanye launched it with Adidas and it got super popular. So they these guys would, these sneakerheads would buy these Yeezys uh, on Adidas for like 140 bucks, right? And then they will sell out and because it sells out, um, there's a lot more demand than the supply they actually have. So when people start reselling it, reselling these sneakers, reselling these high demand items, they could market up the price, essentially. That's what it is. And you are the middleman in basically buying something from an actual brand and then reselling it for a higher so you can make a profit in between. So. That's what I've been testing out on a couple of things and just um, not, I wouldn't say like on a couple of things, it's just like one item or one brand that I've been working with and I'm not gonna tell you about it because if you if I tell you about it, it's gonna be oversaturated, right? So t for me to, to, um, to work on it, it, it's been, it's not been making like a, it's not making like a whole month, bunch of money, but I've already broken even with my first investment into this brand. So hopefully it continues to do so. I've been going around and just like reselling or just selling stuff that I don't exactly need. And um, I've been trying to basically 
Just get a little bit of money. I don't know. I'm just trying to test. Not, not It's not even about the money, right? I still am trying to figure myself out and figure some things that I really enjoy. So I've been testing the waters with a lot of different types of things. Um, just to understand a little bit about myself. I, and I, it sounds freaking cheesy to say that. But it's true. Like I'm, I'm trying to test out a bunch of shit. And hopefully one sticks in my head, right? One sticks like, oh, this is pretty satisfying to do. So, yeah, that's what I've been trying to do uh, the past few months. Still work in progress, right? And so far, I've enjoyed, like, every single thing I've done and tested out. So, that's that makes it even, like, harder for me to focus, which is so weird. But either way, that's that's what I'm doing right now. It's getting actually cold in this room. Ooh, look at that sick freaking hat, dude! A lot of testing out the past two months just to see what I like. And I, I guess that's the main things that I've been doing the past two months is just testing, testing a lot of things out and hopefully things start to stick, things start to, I don't know, I, I start to reap the rewards or, or whatever, but I'm planning to hopefully, I'm hoping that I will stick to most of these things for the foreseeable future because I just don't want to give up on certain things just because it's hard or whatever. That, that That's about it. I know this video has been all over the place and it's relatively freaking boring, but that I just wanted to give you guys a life update and not follow up with that channel trailer because that, hey, if you haven't watched it, the third time I'm plugging this, if you haven't watched it, freaking check out that channel trailer, dude. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later, dude. Tell the little bitch if you keep talking, we can get busy. Get rich or die, try and feel it like feed. Ball like trouble, dumb bomb, too shifty. If it's bad blood, I tell her ass with you. Lots of dead faces like a genocide. On the fence, shorty, go and pick a side. No, you can't be no friend of mine. Double cross me, get crucified. I'm so sincere, bitch, I've been here. You ain't know me, bro, it's been years.